Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here. We are in for a very good stretch the next seven days across the west. With We're going to be measuring snow in feet in areas across the west. Here are my bullet points. So we've got two storms lined up, a two-storm combo through 12-7. And both are going to hammer California. Great to see that. I love seeing that. The Sierra needs this kind of snow. The first storm will have a little better atmospheric river with it. Still weak, but the second storm will have a very weak. But nonetheless, what that is is extra moisture on top of what we would have typically gotten. So we'll have that. We'll have good jet support, good jet orientation with both the north and southern branches. Uh, we're going to approach three feet. Three foot grand totals in the Wasatch, the Tetons, and the central to northern mountains of Colorado will also be doing quite well. So we'll go into all that. I actually wrote about it this morning on my blog, but I'll show you uh, the jet uh, setup here on the infrared satellite. There are two storms, and the two storms riding the northern branch are the primary storm systems. The one you see on the southern branch is merely a placeholder in my opinion, but it will um, be part of the contribution. Um, from the southern branch with all that moisture for California and then all this will then get shuttled in to the interior producing big totals. So ChrisTomer.com, I wrote about it this morning on my blog, two storm combo, big totals, um, got some bullet points there. Uh, it's a, to subscribe to this, it's pretty easy. Just go down to the bottom here, put in your email address, hit subscribe and you'll get a confirmation email. Um, so there's your setup, we talked about that. Let's look at the jet stream here. Let's look at the jet stream setup. Um, so here is 12-1. There's our first of two storms. Look at the orientation, the jet powerful running through uh, California. Great to see. Um, and then all of that moisture will then get blown into the interior. And the thing about this first storm system, it's going to be very windy as it rolls through Utah, uh, the Wasatch, the Tetons, and then into Colorado, where we could be seeing 50 to 70 mile an hour winds as this first storm comes through. So there's going to be a lot of um, displacement. There's going to be a lot of um, snow being moved around in the mountains. So just be aware of that. Um, that's the first storm. All right, so here we go with this. This is 12-7, very late in the period, and the pattern's still active with both branches of the jet playing a role here. There may be a second storm around 12-8, 12-9. But uh, that's the pattern all the way through, uh, all the way from today, 1130 through 127. So it remains active. Let me take you back um, to the blog here and we'll look at timing of all of this. Uh, so here's the future radar and the satellite. Let me just start it out by, there's Thursday morning at 6 a.m. Here, look at that storm nailing California, the Sierra, and then it moves into the interior, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. Here's Saturday at 6 um, here's 12-4 Sunday at 6 a.m. Second storm nails a Sierra, and then it moves into the interior through Monday night at 11 p.m. I'll play that one more time. So here is a Thursday morning at 6, Friday at 6. Look at all that snow. Uh, here's Saturday, second storm uh, moving onshore. Here it comes, Sunday morning at 6, uh, Monday morning at 6, and then by Monday night, it's making its move into the interior. Awesome to see. All right, so let's talk a little bit about... Uh, we did timing. We'll look at totals. So we'll do the uh, we'll do both the uh, the northeast and the west. We'll start out with the northeast. There are two storm systems coming. The problem is the track. They're both too far north, and they're going to push warm air, and they're going to put the the big ski areas in the warm sector. So rain initially, and then you'll get wraparound snow on the backside of both storms. So that doesn't produce the biggest snow totals. Three to seven inches will probably do it all the way through 12.7. Looking at the west, all of today through 12.7, the numbers are very big, as the grand total map, in other words. In California, we'll start there. You know, anywhere from three to four feet seems to be the sweet spot with this. Uh, will it be more? Possible. I went a little bit higher. I'm a little more optimistic just because of the southern branch involvement and the weak atmospheric river play. But, um, Somewhere in there, three to four feet. Um, and then notice the Wasatch. I think Alta, Snowbird, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna get close to three feet, somewhere in there. Certainly two to three feet. And up in the Tetons, two to three feet, so approaching three feet. Um, and that's great. Awesome to see those bullseyes for both ranges. In Colorado, the biggest numbers are gonna be in the central and northern mountains, one to two feet coming. You know, Aspen, Snowmass, Crested Butte, Vale, um, are in good position here for this one, are in real good position. Unfortunately, I don't have much for northern, northern New Mexico, 
but that has been the track. You know, that's the storm track that we've been seeing. Um, big numbers up in Big Sky, Whitefish, Discovery, one to two feet. And look at Idaho. This is one of the best stretches I can remember. One to two, well, certainly of the season. Um, one to two feet there from Schweitzer to Brundage, Sun Valley, Red Mountain and Fernie, all in good position with this very active two storm combo. So there you go, guys. Enjoy it. And I'll keep an eye on things and do some additional updates. Thank you for tuning in here.